All right, y'all, so obviously you can't be in a unit cornhole without a good cornhole court. We got one set up out here in my backyard. I've been practicing for a few weeks and I finally got this thing re refined to where uh, I've got a consistent area to practice that's measured out correctly. So let's check it out. So here's my court. Runs from my patio all the way to the uh, yard over there out past the patio first thing when I was setting this up I didn't realize is how far 27 feet is I kind of underestimated how much room I needed I thought I could kind of do it diagonal on the patio or, or maybe even on the patio but 27 feet is a long ways especially uh, once you get it out here measured up correctly I was able to hey, say hi to my dog I was able to reclaim this little piece of artificial turf my mother-in-law was getting rid of it and I needed something to put on the concrete so I didn't tear up these new bags because I do miss a lot right now hopefully that'll come to an end soon and then it runs down 27 feet front end to front end to my board in the grass here and you can see I got some pavers under there because there's a little step down on my patio I just wanted to make it as level as humanly possible obviously it's probably not perfect but it's as close as I can get it you can see the shot down that way and I'll be good to go. That's what I got. Good area to practice. All right, y'all. There you go. That's my, my cornhole court. I think I'm calling that the right thing. Uh, set up. Let me know in the comments what you think. Hopefully, I can get out here and get some good practice. Get good enough to, to show up in person and throw some, some tournaments indoors. Appreciate y'all. Hit that subscribe notification before you bounce out of here.